Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Books and Betches, not to be confused with Books and Betches. I'm Kristen, and with me I have Betch Maria. That's Erica, and that's Maria. Um, this is a quadruple S podcast where we talk about books. We swear, we spoil, we talk about sex, and we suck at all of it. Suck at all of it. Really, really enticing intro. <laughs> I think a, a hook, line, and sinker. What are you doing? Fixing your hair. Oh, Aww. thank you. Girls who support girls. I'm a thank girls girl. Thank um, this you. week we are talking thriller. Erica's oh, oh, favorite. Wait, Erica's favorite genre. Ah. Um, we're doing a book called None of This is True by uh, Lisa Jewell, I believe. What's her name? Lisa, Lisa Jewell. Jewell. Okay. Yeah. My, uh, this is another book that my sister-in-law recommended. She's been hitting me with some bangers because most of the books that she recommends, I really enjoy. So now I trust mm-hmm. the, um, things that she says. So this one, None of This is True, I think was actually kind of popular. It's I don't very know. popular. Is it? Is it? Yep. I thought so. Oh, Okay. Very popular. I think Lisa Jewell is a popular author. Sounds thriller. familiar. Yeah, I've, I've seen. We've definitely seen her other, books. Um, I think it won the award nominee for best mystery and thriller for the Goodreads Choice Awards. Oh, wow. Okay. And did you all read or listen to this book? Listen to I it. Listened to I listened to it. it. And that was the move. So much better than reading them. That was the move. It was good. Especially because it has a podcast element. Yeah. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, do you remember <laughs> the, ep- the do, you, do you remember the episode of Friends? Did you ever watch Friends? No, you no. Watch Friends? I watched it, but I, I'm so not. There's like a, a thing where like the Joey's on a date with a girl, and she reaches over and like grabs uh-huh. his food. Is Joey, the one that just Joey's like, away? "How you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing?" And she keeps like trying to like eat his food. Eat his food. Okay. And like eventually he snaps and he goes, "Joey doesn't eat. F- or <laughs> Joey doesn't, doesn't share. share food. It's like it just." In my head, I just I read this book and I go, Erica doesn't like thrillers. <laughs> I was really <laughs> trying to I was trying so hard to figure out where that connection I was, was like, going. I was like, it just like I I, I was like, ah, like Joey doesn't like food. Erica doesn't like thrillers. Like that's the end. You really, <laughs> really like, don't. You, really, you didn't like this at all. Fuck it, I fucking hate them. Really? <gasps> I didn't. I thought that you might be okay with oh, this. Oh yeah, one. this like book it. made me want to fucking pluck out all my eyelashes. Oh. That's the point. <laughs> I really think that was yeah, the point. Yeah, I think that's the point of thrillers. Why would I want to do that? Pluck out all your eyelashes? I don't think you should. No. I already have, like, I'm surprised you like them. I already have enough anxiety. I don't need a book to give <laughs> me anxiety. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are you calling me out on? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I have anxiety no, too, right. but I still no, like true like, crime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always afraid of getting a, murdered, true but crime, I love watching true crime. True crime. But that's that's actually psychologically different I'm because it's <laughs> It's literally women like, like, like almost. It's like a psychological thing where women are actually like prepping themselves. Yes, for I, the had work. 1, I had this conversation. One thousand percent. With a coworker, we were talking about. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I told I was talking about how women watch true crime because women were trained to live in fear. Yeah, yeah. So it's like so when it's I like watch true seeing crime, different mm-hmm. scenarios. It's like, well, like I would have done this and I would. Yeah. It's like when I get an Uber with friends. You will always see me behind the driver. Yeah. Because if he tries some shit, I'm going to... F- <laughs> I love that. Well, well I always have my phone out in an Uber. That too. too. I have my phone out. Or I, I pretend I'm on the phone. We always have those things in the back. So that's why I, I, I 100% think you watch, agree I that when women do it, crime does is to prep, prep you. Yep. Yeah. For okay. every scenario. So what are you? What were you trying to say? That thriller is a different... Because this just isn't, gives me anxiety. Yeah. Because I'm just like, what is going to happen and then I'm like, I don't fun. know what's going to happen. I, have a and hat on. Yeah. I don't I'm I don't, not good at it. But, but you like movies that are thrillers. I don't mind watching a thriller as much as reading because it takes more time to read it. So like mm. the thriller mm. movie, it just moves faster. Mm. So Fair. you're kind of like moving from scene to scene to scene. And you're like your anxiety only lasts for so long. Fair. Should we do a 60 second so we can get... It's you. Uh, the it's shape. you. Uh, Me and your body, it's you. Well, get out of timer. <laughs> Give me your phone. <laughs> really? Yeah, and my phone, my phone you're is right, on You're right, you're right. You do it. All right. If you're new to this podcast, we attempt to do this thing where we explain an entire plot summary of a book in 60 seconds or less. Erica yawns every 60 seconds or less, and it's really <laughs> annoying. Um, so this week, I'm doing None of This is True, which is great because it's fucked and none of it is true so i can't wait to give you a <laughs> 60 you second can't be wrong. i can't yeah true. you know what that's right can't i can't be, be wrong. wrong i can tell you whatever the fuck i want because okay it's true to you 60 seconds um so three ago this <laughs> guy bart and this girl no i'm just kidding bart. start over <laughs> oh, like, where, what book are you okay, reading? Right, right, right. wait okay. let me think let me three think. oh jesus 
two uh, Josie and Alex. Okay, go, go. One. Josie and Alex are birthday twins. They were born on the same day in the same hospital, and they happen to cross paths uh, at a birthday dinner. Um, Josie is a weirdo. Uh, we don't really know. Like, she's just really weird, and she has two adult kids. And then jo- and then Alex is cool and has a podcast. She's so sick, and her so husband sick. is cool. She has younger kids, so they meet weirdly and uh Josie is like wants to quit her life and is like you should have me on your podcast so on the podcast we learn things about Josie she's really fucking creepy her kids are really creepy um she kind of is about to like kill her husband and then her husband like goes missing all this stuff happens and it comes out that Josie's just really really weird I thought she was going to try to become Alex but really she's just a creep and then Alex's husband goes missing and it turns out that Josie Ken. also killed the husband. But in the end, we don't know if any of that's true because we don't believe anything Josie says Five, and her kids four, could be the ones three, that actually did the killing, two, but we don't know. That's the podcast. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Okay. I think you hit it all. Kind of. <gasps> what was she missing? Not that you miss. It's just the way you delivered it. It was so hard to deliver. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to deliver. There's like three. There's well, the three format of in which it was told was fucking ridiculously stupid. Too. Well, no, no, no. There's three different sides to this. There's you have the podcast. You have Alex. You have Josie. The truth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You have Alex. You have Josie, and you have the podcast. So each one. So like, which I hated. Some chapters are told through Alex's point of view. Some are told through Josie's, and some are told through the. We podcast. switch sometimes in the middle of chapters. Yeah, what pisses like me it. off? Not pisses me off, but what took me a while was I got Joey, Josie, and Alex confused. So so, so many much. times so because many i times. thought that josie was the cool one with the podcast because the name josie for some sounds reason cooler. sounds cooler and i was like is that fucked up to say but when well, i think so of alex like, there was so many like josie alex josie alex josie alex and i was yeah, like the, that josie, was tough. alex and i was like okay which one's which i keep fucking forgetting i think of alex dunphy and she's kind of like you know that loser you know alex dunphy from modern family so i keep thinking of alex and then when i thought of josie for some reason i was thinking of daisy in the six and in my mind daisy was actually josie that's how i went there and i don't know how hmm. else to tell you okay. i did not go there well i got them confused a lot i, I just i, I had like they them were, fine they also had different narrators no they were the same no they were not that was not that was the yeah, same woman they were different narrators i don't know i don't I'm pretty sure think that's narrators. true i'm pretty Let sure myself i'm pretty I sure I could be wrong. The podcast believe, had the guy. I believe they had different narrators. So essentially the book opens with, I think, Josie's point of view. Yeah, Josie's point of view. It says Nicola Walker and Louise Bealey. Those are the narrators. It's two women. I swear to God they were the same. Yeah, they're, they're different. I think they're I'll play it after this. Alex had a deeper, uh, well, deeper they tone. They the same to me. No. Alice had a deeper tone. Josie had a lighter, um, softer tone. It like to sounded her. more girly. Yeah, I guess, or yeah. like younger. I don't, know. Or I don't remember. But that. Doesn't matter anyway. They I, like so the whole like beginning of this is like they meet at this like birthday dinner and at like, a restaurant. Yeah, Alex is out with her friends and Josie's out with her husband and they like she like says something in the bathroom and I was like okay like this feels kind of like normal mm. and yeah. then like Josie says some weird shit. She's like. But isn't it so weird that we're like birthday twins? And it's like that, like, ugh, like I just like couldn't stop cringing. But at, she at could every just be like this, an like, awkward person. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. I know, but I yeah. did like, but it was just like weird. And she was like so obsessed with it. And then like her husband was just like fucking aloof. Like, well, that's what like, we need to talk about the husband. Fucking weird. So Josie got married very young and she started what this is how we we know in the beginning because there's more details that come out towards the end but in the beginning what we know is that Josie is not happy in her marriage and she wants something to change she's been with her husband for a really long time her kids are grown at this point you know she meets Alex Alex seems like a cool girl she's got a younger or she's got like a cool husband Nathan I think is his name yep and doesn't know anything about them but she wants to be on this podcast she wants to talk about changing her life she's like i know you talk about women that have already gone through like change but join me as i like try to figure I'm it out i'm gonna change my life you're gonna watch me do it at first alex is like eh, that's kind of weird i'm not super into that and then i forget like what happens that makes like changes her mind but well, she wants to change her podcast anyway yeah so the way it happens josie decides on a whim that she wants to go to a different restaurant for her birthday yeah. it's usually they usually don't do anything for her birthday it's like maybe one small dinner and that's it right right but her husband asked what do you want to do and she chooses this specific place it's like up and coming it's like this cool hot spot they go there 
their dynamics already weird yeah he's a very he's old as hell he's, he's like real he, old. he met her at 15 when he was 40 so it's it's it's, un, it's bad. really bad so they're already in a weird thing josie it's, watches alex yeah. come in with all her friends and they have like balloons like she mm-hmm. knows it's also her birthday i pictured this perfect her husband is like oh look she also has your birthday mm-hmm so when Alex gets up to use the bathroom, Josie goes, I'm going to use the bathroom too. Mm-hmm. And goes and makes makes herself get met. Should have been our first clue. <laughs> he, was, he was 70. So he's yeah. 70 at the point. Yeah, yeah. At the point we start the book. So she's like, we're birthday twins. She goes, <laughs> again, weird. That, of course. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Have a good day. And they leave. When they leave, Josie starts doing research on Alex and that's finds right. her right. podcast. And Alex has a podcast where she interviews women who've gone through crazy things in their lives and like, you know, very, uh, a woman centric podcast at this point in Alex's life, she has decided she wants to do a different Avenue. Yeah. She may not want to re- continue doing these stories about women. Not that it's bad. It's just, she wants something new, something different. And so Josie inserts herself That's in right. Alex's yeah. life. She yeah. just keeps popping up yeah. like most creepy people do. And then Alex's husband is a piece of shit who keeps like having benders. Drink- benders. benders. Like he do you keeps think he drinking was cheating like- on her. No, no, you think he was just having like yeah. benders and like yeah. yeah. I don't think he was cheating on her at all. They explain how he had some kind of traumatic event. Yeah. Um, but I think his parents died or something happened. I don't know, but Where it started his drinking problem. But mm-hmm. like, and then also Josie, we randomly like when we go to Josie's point of view, she keeps walking by this bedroom her of daughter's her daughter's bedroom. bedroom, and is like, the smell is so bad, but I don't want to go in there. I haven't, and yeah, she that made it was sound so as if her that daughter was disabled, sound- and I was yeah. just like, what's wrong with her oh, daughter? It made me think that that, that she was dead in the yeah, bedroom. Yeah, I thought yeah. Maybe the daughter was dead, and she would leave like baby food outside yeah. the door, and then it would get eaten, yeah. and then so you're kind of like, what's going on behind that? I door? thought it was a whole like thing in her own head that the daughter was already dead. That's that's why I said Josie's weird. Yeah, and that she was just having her. her own like episodes sideways. and Josie's husband would leave in the middle of the night too and like she didn't know like where mm, he was going that, that came stuff. out later yeah but yeah so it turns into Josie coming at, at Alex being like hey I'm I'm about to change my life do yep. you want to see me change my life uh you want to be the one that documents it on your podcast and I think like as a podcaster like the reason that she said was she was like I couldn't turn down the story. Yeah, like the, yeah, the that's but very a believable. Story, a thousand. Percent, I yeah. like as a podcaster, it's like I get that. Yeah. yeah. Like you so it was enticing. Are looking for something. Think of like S Town and all these like yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. Like, like, or something. Yeah. Yes. So it turns into that, and she then comes you start to her getting house all the time. Josie. Yeah. Yeah. Jo- the studio is in well, Josie's in yeah. shed. Yeah. She shed kind of thing. Um, so Josie starts telling her the story and how she met her husband and her husband, you know, groomed her, groomed her as a child. And Which she did. She was 15 years old. Yeah. He but there's more 40. to that story, more, too. Uh, but again, what's the what's the truth? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it comes out. I want to get I want to like actually fully dive into that. Go. So it gets out that like, he, yes, he was interested in her, but she was interested in him. He was. No, dating he was mother. dating her mom. So I don't understand this. So I have this written down. So it says that like Walker left his kid, like wife and kids. Yes. Her. Yep. How is that possible if she was dating her mom? Well, no, he was divorced. He was divorced. So he was already. No, but she div- said she said he left his wife and kids. She for me. says that, but doesn't mean it's true. But, yeah. she, but then the mom says that she was dating him. Well, I think he was already divorced, already divorced but in then. their life, like he still had the kids in his life. And then when he started dating Josie, he completely cut the kids out. Because she hated him talking to them. Yeah. She like, he right. would hide yeah. talking to them on Skype and stuff. Like completely Because they're in them. Canada. Yeah. And this no. is this is ba- uh, based in the UK. Yeah. So they start doing the podcast together. And every time Josie would come, this is when we start to realize, okay, something's really wrong with something's her. off. Every time she would come to Alex's house, she would like steal something mm-hmm. and like hide it in her underwear drawer. So this is when I wrote down, it she's going to become Al- like, she wants it, to become it gave single white female. Yeah. Like for sure. And she kept like saying this weird shit where she'd be like, you know, your husband's out all night on benders. Like how men, dare he? Right. Yeah. The worst. And like instigating and Alex is finally like, starting. How would you feel if he died? Yeah. And Alex is starting to be like, okay, this girl's really fucking weird. Yeah. Something's not right. I but like then would have done a going. background check on her. Well, then what happens is Alex, um, they're supposed to like all hang out, the four of them. And uh, Josie's husband, is, I mean, Alex's husband is out having like a bender and doesn't show up. And Josie's like, wow, I can't believe he wouldn't show up and like goes home. And that night, apparently there's a big fight between Josie and her husband. Walker. It, yeah. Walker's Walker, I think it's yeah. Walker. Walker. And like 
it kind of like it's her point of view so it kind of like cuts out but like you can tell like she goes to attack him yep and then she shows up uh we cut to you know a different point of view we cut back to um alex it's in the middle of the night joji shows up on her door she's got a fucking black eye she's got blood all over her and she's like i just got beat by my husband can i please live here for like a couple days and, and like the husband's like what the fuck and you immediately know like oh i knew she killed him from the start yeah you're like okay she obviously fucking killed her husband and like what i mean what is alex gonna do she's like she tries at first she's like you should call your mom you should do call this the police. you should do this she's like, no i can't D- just let me stay here for like you know, a I, just, night. I just can't do it i just yeah. i just you know so she ends up staying there for like a week and a half and almost. she's like with the kids there and like just yeah. creepy she it's steals stuff really the whole time weird yeah really unhinged yep and um so how does it come out that I'm trying to remember. I think it's through the podcast point of view. You start to realize. Well, so through the interviews of different people, you start hearing no, other parts of the, what? Um, her daughters. She, she had mentioned that her daughters went to the same school as. That's right. Her, as, as Alex's kids. And she said something to a teacher or a superintendent or like somebody at the school and was like, oh, I met somebody who's like kids went to the school. Yeah. And they're like, oh, who? Like I've, I've you know, I'd probably remember. And she brings up Roxy and what was the other girl's name? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. And they were like, oh, they're fucking weird. And yeah. Like slowly. Roxy's she, very violent. That's she what it gets came more off and more as. information from people at the school. From outside. Everybody's about, saying yeah, there's a lot of abuse. outside sources. Yep. About like the girls not being stable and like there being a lot of problems at the house and like Roxy getting suspended or I don't know. Like there's like mm-hmm. just a lot of a fight happened between Roxy and one of her best friends and that best friend goes missing. And mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah, like a was, lot of things outside of Josie's perspective that are alluding to there. Are so then, more than this so thing. then Alex is digging more into this and blah, 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 blah. So something is wrong with like Roxy, the, her older daughter, something no, she's youngest. Roxy's Aaron's younger? the older. One. Oh, so Aaron's something's older r- one, well, yeah. something's wrong with Aaron. All we know is she's like a professional video game player. Basically, we On know Twitch. she's disabled, but we don't know why. And then we have Roxy, who apparently beat a whole bunch of people up, had a girlfriend at one point. Like her daughters are like have a lot of issues that we don't really understand. And the way that Josie is painting it is like, yeah, they moved out, like kind of just like not going into detail. And then Alex is kind of learning through the podcast, through other people that there's way worse shit going mm-hmm. on there. Mm-hmm. And throughout this whole thing, Josie is like, I'm going to tell Al- says to her husband, I'm going to tell Alex the truth about what happened that night. And he's like, you can't, we'll get in trouble. Mm-hmm. So that's why at the end I'm like, I don't know Did who to believe. Help kill. Yeah. Rebecca. So Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Sorry, Brooke. Yeah. So, I guess the story, like, how do we get to? So, the, the, the crux of everything. Yeah. So, like, I guess the story is that, um, is that Brooke, Brooke dies. Well, who's Brooke? <laughs> Nobody. Brooke's that, the, the girlfriend. girlfriend. Yes. Roxy's girlfriend. girlfriend. So, Roxy has a girlfriend. Had. Had. They had a big fight, and that's when Roxy left. But at, that night of the prom, Brooke goes missing. Missing, yeah. And that's just been a thing that's just always been like, um, who, like what we're happened? meant what to happened? believe from Alec. Uh, we're meant to believe from Josie that uh, Roxy did something bad. Mm. We're yes. meant to believe from the podcast, which is supposedly the truth, that something it Josie. that it was Josie did something bad. So it's like hard to to tell what's what. Like I really, so was, I think yeah. Josie. What I think actually happened. I think Josie killed Brooke. Mm -hmm. She was like jealous of the relationship. She like always wanted like attention or whatever. But then she went to Walker and was like, I Roxy killed her girlfriend. We need to like cover this up. Ooh, that's what I was going to say. So then that's why that's why he was like his daughter. I put her in the shed. My daughter. That's what I was going to say. I think the whole thing is Roxy is actually the bad person in all of this. I think so. Yeah, I do. And I wrote that down way in the beginning and then I didn't. And then I started to doubt it until the last pair, the last chapter when we so got why not Jos- why why do you believe Josie's part of it um i don't i because of the people on the podcast kept talking about how crazy roxy and how bad she is so i was like why but are I they pointing be- all this out but i think that's Josie's josie like fault. creating that narrative about her but no these are people that dealt firsthand with roxy were the ones saying oh she was in my school she was batshit crazy and she beat people up and she hurt people and did all this stuff so if that like i have to trust you know, these outside narrators, mm. the way they paint, they all painted her so as So this the brings up the question, how do we feel about unreliable narrators? 
I love tough. them. It's tough. It's tough, but I love them. I love an unreliable narrator. I think it's I think yeah. it's interesting to get into the mindset and be like, so this is the truth to them. Well, here's the this is where okay, so the because end, people lie. We gotta mm-hmm. get to the end because this is the whole crux of everything. Is um Nathan is out on another bender and we're meant to believe that Josie hires somebody under Aaron's name um, to go and kill. Well, no, she s- hires the girl. Fine. Cheat. She knows yeah. the girl from the seamstress job that she yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. It's the, from what the girl said on the podcast. This is the true part of it. Yeah. That sh- the, she was like, Hey, I haven't, she wants to be an actress. She's like, I have an acting job for you. I want you to lure this guy. My girl, my girlfriend's boyfriend is like a bad guy. And I want to like get him caught cheating kind of thing like i so want like what if that just went him? wrong and roxy showed up and then why would roxy show up to that why how would roxy know nathan because roxy's part of the podcast roxy At was the end she comes in after nathan's already gone missing no but i think she had reached out to her before that no she hadn't found roxy yet roxy shows up after I thought she reached everything out happened at the house uh. when aaron gets found and all the the media goes crazy so it's a lot of parts well During, after her dad is killed she shows up but that happens but before the same nathan. day with aaron oh really so aaron was in her room yeah. on glitch twitch yeah. essentially <laughs> um it's streaming twitch. <laughs> it's twitch she's, yeah. just such a she's on twitch streaming she's a very well-known gaming streamer and what had happened was her dad used to come in at night and play with her and yeah. also be part of it and he became his own character in the back basically on on the streams so what Josie believed was that he was going in there to assault his daughter. Right. But he was actually just being a cool dad. Yeah. Apparently. Um, so the night of the fight between Josie and Walker, Josie's like, well, I'm going to tell everyone cause you're a pedophile. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. And they actually have a fight. What Aaron tells us after she wakes up from her coma is that Josie had a yeah, whole thing seemed weird. Attacked her father. Right. Yeah. Killed her father. And then Aaron comes out, attacks Josie to protect her dad. It just all seemed too... Because everybody hates Josie. That's what I'm saying. It all seemed too... But from that came Roxy finding out because Aaron's story blew up online. Yeah. Because everyone saw it happen because she was streaming, leaves the room and... But the Nathan thing too? Nathan comes after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They hear stuff. Right. Right? And that's when Josie goes on the run. Yeah. But while on the run, she books her friend, friend, quote unquote, and says, hey, I need to have a job for you. Yeah. That's what she tries to get Nathan. So what if her whole plan was actually like, what if like she was set up in her house? Something happened. Right. Um, Like, I think her chapter, she said, I really do remember like him attacking me and like something happening with Aaron. I don't even remember what her point of view was. But like, what if all that stuff happened and her goal was just to catch him cheating? But then, you know, Roxy and Aaron or something are cons- actually conspiring against her and like plans something like, I just don't trust the daughters. Oh, do you think Aaron actually did book yes, this car? And yes. Roxy's the one that drove yes. it. I mean, that's the, but that's the problem with everyone is like, you can't trust anybody because exactly. they're all it's sus. Interesting side plot. But I yeah. think that, I, I think that consistently the one person that is so unreliable is Josie. Is Josie. I don't so you believe You can't her. believe anything she says. She's unreliable, but I still also think that Roxy and Aaron are also unreliable. They are. Mm-hmm. We're like not meant to know. Yeah, but, I guess. So yeah, that, that's essentially like, that's why the I point. Know. Heidi was asking on the discord is like, how do we feel about that open endedness of like what, what we believe? What drives me yeah. nuts. The one thing <laughs> that's the what one, made it a four, not a five for me. I want another thing story that, I think is something that you take, you can take away from this book is that, and this is like life shit, right? Is that it's really, really hard to reconcile different versions of events for people. Yeah. Like the truth is not always what it actually is. Right. Or what I mean, her mom was psychotic too. Like she's surrounded by just unreliable. Like it's so fucking weird. It was like, really weird. Basically, I and I think I think the world, I think the internet especially can like learn to uh, like learn something from this in the sense that like that's there's not a one size fits all no. truth to no, everything. Never. There's not there's like things do not exist in right. black and white, and it's not just like no. everyone's truth and reality is, is your perception is of perception it. which of makes it. me crazy when reading these stuff. like you could see me slowly spiraling in my notes because then i'm like I wrote. I wrote wait what if it really wait. wasn't josie <laughs> what if it's just what if she's being set up by her girls and she was there to try and save nathan there's more to this and then i wrote in all caps nothing is true <laughs>
That's also true. hated the cringy last line though about being a basic bitch okay but then it came back because somebody pointed out and i had to i actually had an inner monologue with myself and i said wait Did a second you? this is actually very good writing because that's how what alex would have said and there i have to like separate these the things. basic bitch thing yeah yeah so you have to like separate right like alpha hole from sarah j moss's mm-hmm. thing drives me fucking insane but maybe i am not taking into account that it's not what the author's saying, it's what the character's saying. So Alex ends her podcast with like, and she'll always be a basic bitch. And I remember re- listening to that and being like, oh, why would you write that? And I was like, oh, because that's something Alex would actually fucking the say. Podcast, yeah. And then I had to like, I had this whole fight with myself where I'm like, all right, what's cringy dialogue versus cringy dialogue for a reason? Mm. And it's like, I think there is something to be said about writing weird shit because it makes sense for the character. Yeah. yeah. I gave this a four star mainly because I think I, I enjoyed the ride. Yeah, I was like, I was on for the twisty and turnies. Um, my one gripe was it was with it was that I felt that it ended several times over. Yeah, you you brought that uh, up. Yeah, I was like, how much more shit is gonna fucking like, happen? It's I was happy we got Josie's point of view in the end at though, the end. because that fucks everything. That you're just like, oh wow. I don't. This- I, I agree though. I don't like that we don't know. And I love that it's a Netflix document. It like turns into a Netflix I th- thing. When I first started the audiobook, I was like, what am I listening to? Like, yeah. Did I listen to the wrong thing? It was like coming to Netflix, birthday twin. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because at the end you get Josie's on a tr- on a bus or something. She's in hiding. And two girls are talking about, did you see the Netflix documentary? Yeah. I don't know. I think the girl, there's more to the girls. It's like, that's exactly what we do mm. of like our documentary. Like mm-hmm. we're, we're, we listen to things. Yeah. We're like, I don't think the husband's that bad. Oh, the husband's definitely killing like everybody. I think it was well written. I th- it was I very well written. Written. I I felt like it was a, a fun ride again. I think audio wise it helped great. a lot yeah. because the podcast elements. Yeah, I there was music thrillers. tracks. Yeah. There was that narrator. Like this better. was recorded. This the music day. was fun. I liked the music. It does better as an audio book, but I still just don't like. I don't like the feeling I have in my gut when I read it, <laughs> which is the point. whole point. That's the point. It's I doing know, its job. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that feeling. I liked it. I liked the thriller aspect though. I think we should read more thrillers. I know Erica will I hate agree. it, but Erica doesn't <laughs> like thriller. <laughs> Joey doesn't like but food. I like the conversations that come out of thrillers. Me too. Because you, you, you like you really question everything. I mean, most thrillers are the difference between I think this one and like I feel a like lot we of have thrillers. To fo- I feel like we have to follow more thriller people on. Well, this yeah. one's like gaslight. Like it fucking gaslights you. By yeah. the end, you're like, I lit- I actually don't know what's true. And the fact that the name of the book is none of this, none is, this is true, true. Yeah. also made me kind of spiral because that was when I was, that was why I wrote none of this is true. And I'm like, oh, because it's not like, she's not saying that none of what Josie is saying true. She's saying none All of sides. it is true. All sides have, have falsehoods. I'm it's sticking with it was, dream. it was, I'm sticking with it was Josie. I mean, Roxy. it was Roxy and Aaron. They're fucking bad. I think that it's all Josie. Really? I think Josie was a big proponent. I think that they're all, that whole family's bad. I think it wasn't good. But the, <laughs> the way. <laughs> the way the it wasn't way. good. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? I don't know. We're so mean to it each other. It just came out. It wasn't good. <laughs> Listen, I brought you a laugh. Deal with it. Yeah, thank you. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, like Josie's mother. The Ugh, fact that Julia's horrible. mother let her 16-year-old daughter date, date the guy she was dating. And then it's like, I didn't want a kid anyway. Fuck this bitch. I like, I yeah, hated her. She's like, when I, I feel like I a lot of people failed Josie. Not that I'm trying to like, no, uh, but, but no, but there was either. like, a yeah, of your environment. Exactly. It was interesting how like, um, people were saying how Josie was like, no, she wanted, him. she wanted him, but that's, and oh, yeah. but is that what people him. do to women? Yeah, Exactly. She was 15. Was she wearing shorts the wrong way? What the fuck do you know when you're 15? There are some 15 year olds that are fucking crazy like that. Yeah, but you don't know better. Like, you're just like, this guy's hot. As an adult, they should know better. Yeah, somebody should should step in and say, this is wrong. He should not have freaking gone for her Oh, he's bad. He's not good. He's not good either. For a man who has two daughters? Yeah. No. But he seemed like a decent father. No, he seemed like a bore. I think he knew more than what what was let on. Again... And he was trying to protect the girls, sus. and the girls failed him. I think well, that's, that's why I think, I think it's weird because, like, the Aaron storyline, that, that's unvisual proof. People were following on mm-hmm. Glitch and following him on Glitch with her. Yeah, I think so that... So that tells me, like, I don't know if I can believe Aaron is on, in on it. Well, I don't Unless think... Roxy gets Aaron's... Like, how does Aaron even have... She doesn't go outside. She's yeah, but she's not But she's not on this thing 24-7. She's on it a lot, but I think she's got other shit going on that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 
overall, I. If you're the author of this, this book, book. <laughs> can you tell us what the ending actually no, meant? The point no, is it's that open you don't know. You See, yeah, that, that, that will drive me insane. It's like for a choose least, your own adventure, but choose your own ending. At least like four it. more months, it'll upset me. Really? I want a public apology. <laughs> That's my a, life. That's the goal. That's the um, theme of this, this batch. Batch of books. I want a public apology. We need to authors. be apologized to. <laughs> I need an apology. All right. Well, overall, I, yeah, I gave it four stars. I was hoping that there would be like a book two or something, but I know there's not going to be because no, Josie. Why? You don't want what? series? Because Josie's on the run, and I need to know what happens. I don't next. care. She I would let her like, run. Maybe we need to read the next Still House Lake. Oh, is there? Yes. Yeah, did I, I, I think we I read loved it. that book? And didn't I read the, the second, second House Lake? I think oh. we did. Do the second? No. I might have read it on my own. I don't remember though. Yeah, that was a great book. You loved that. I loved that. Sometimes I don't want to actually like ruin it. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's how why I didn't f- continue You're it right. because I was like, maybe I, I don't, don't want to say. Wanna... <laughs> yep. You're yep. right. Yep. Um. All right. Anything else you want to add about thrillers, Erica? Your favorite? She's banging on her head. Um. What should our next thriller be? Are there yeah. any types of thrillers that you like? Yeah, what kind of you like still house read enough to know what you like i don't think i you yeah. like still house lake though didn't you but that has some like that has something to rent the romantic suspense element that's a romantic it. suspense i wouldn't call that a thriller fair we'll find one i like romantic suspense a lot but yeah of course you do <laughs> Um, well, I'm gonna find a thriller that Erica's gonna be let like. This us know is the what best. your favorite thrillers are. I want to read more thrillers. Yeah, me too. I think I want to read something, and I mean, we can offline this, but that um, is such a work off fucking line. offline, dude. Leave the corporate speak at the door. Why would you <laughs> say that? We'll circle back. <laughs> we'll circle back. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Offline or what? Offline it. Um, no, I think I want to <laughs> read something like. Um, like the midnight library remember the yes. one that you did the that. very early no not that particular but like okay the, yeah what, what was the one that we did that you it was when we were just like one of us was reading a book did i read it yeah uh it was the one with the crab oh, oh the, hike. the hike was the hike. so good like i want to do something in that fantastical i would revisit no the like a like a trippy fucking psychedelic type experience that's going off of ever and and i can't believe the name of that ever and ever and yeah i hate oh. that name i don't know why they did that they're taking that off the app Script in like a couple good. weeks so you should read it before it goes off the hike um yeah it might come off for you but for her it might stay oh really yeah. ever and is a what is they're a, different they're a sneaky little bitch yeah. man we actually yeah we've been talking about on the discord um how basically if you read too much yeah, I don't have it. they start capping you yeah so and they, but she now, see it but now they tell you so it happened oh, now to they're me. saying it. So um, the the one of the books I was reading, it like literally was like this. Uh, this audiobook is no longer available to you because you've read too much. It'll be available uh, to you in three weeks. Most times they'll say to me, "Wait, like, oh, it's, what? It'll be available the yeah. first of the month." Yeah, that so changes like, everything. I was, in the, I was in the middle of. They the, figured of out the that Netflix for books just doesn't work. This is like fucking movie movie pass all over again. <laughs> God damn it. Call him and get him money back. Yeah. What was Movie Pass? Remember Movie Pass? It came out. It was like, what's 2015? Yeah, we were at WWE, you I think. Go to, no, you go could, to movies unlimited. We could unlimited movies. And we, yeah. we abused the hell out of that. Oh, yeah. We were at movies every day. And you could see the same movie over and over, over and, and over and just, over again. Didn't, and then Dude. they ca- started capping you. So they're like, you can only watch mm-hmm. this certain, certain times. Movie, certain times. And, and like three a week. Like, you can't do Then you do three a week. And now it, then they basically went bankrupt. But we watched like 50 movies and it was what, 200 bucks for the year I paid for? I think I paid 150. Yeah, 150 for the year, right? So they fucked all this shit up. People got really mad and then they, they gave me half my money back. They gave me 50 bucks. So back. for like 50 bucks, I saw like 50 movies yeah. and I was like, oh, that worked yeah. out great. I they <laughs> and I was the height of Marvel stuff. It's too. back, we but it's regulated. Yeah, it's back. It's regular. I have yeah, AMC stubs. Yeah, I pay it's for like AMC. that it's or twenty four s- bucks. Is that and what I can is? watch? Unlim- I can watch the same movie over and over if I want. That's what but I, I want to do. I can watch three movies a week. For, I want to do free. that because you watch one and it fucking pays. I went off. to go see Mean Girls yesterday. And you I was watch like, one a month that pays it off. Good for it. <laughs> um. All right. Well. Anyway, thrillers. Give us your top three thrillers. Top three of yeah. all time. Give us your thrillers. Send if it we to us see, on Instagram if we or- see two that duplicate, that's the one we're gonna read. Wow. Love it. All right. Yeah. Send us on Instagram. Books underscore underscore betches. Whoa. Books underscore N underscore betches. B-E-T-C-H-E-S. Kick the... Click the, <laughs> click the link tree in the in the bio and that'll take you to our Discord if you want to join our Discord and let us know there your favorite thrillers. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Yep, yep. 
There it is. Yep. Uh, also, Books and Betches there. And we are so grateful for all of you. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Meow. Yeah.